Hey, well, greetings on this Thursday. Lee Harder, TND here with you. Um, news that everybody is interested in, the Colonial Pipeline, oil pipeline is back online and gas is not as hard to find as it was. I think we, Orangeburg has been fortunate in that regard. Other places seem to, seem to have a worse supply problem, but it appears that at least moving toward the weekend, things should be returning to normal and prices, thankfully, in Orangeburg um, did not spike like they have in some places. The open carry law, meaning that a person with a concealed weapons permit in South Carolina, the legislature has decided that uh, those persons will be allowed to carry weapons, open carry them, uh, basically on their hip if they wish. The legislation has yet to be signed by Governor McMaster, but the governor has indicated at least we believe he will sign it. The University of South Carolina's president, uh, Caslin, in the middle of a lot of controversy, uh, has resigned his position. And at least it appears that former president Pastides will take over for at least a time. Okay, the governor's orders uh, regarding masks. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of news surrounding that. Um, in Orangeburg County, they are studying what the governor's order would mean to the mask ordinance here. The city of Orangeburg continues to say that their mask ordinance is in place. Uh, the governor is asking that schools and uh, other entities Get, make, make mask wearing an, an option for the person and not some sort of mandate. Uh, school officials are um, asking that the masks uh, at least remain in schools until the end of this academic year. You'll also read today about uh, an OW freshman track standout, uh, three firsts and a second as a freshman in the uh, region meet. And they head to Lower State this year. Also online at the TND.com, more news of interest about OW. Three athletes from, from the school have signed to play on the college level in three different sports. Uh, three athletes in three different sports. Okay, um, hope you have a good day and uh, we'll be back with you on Friday to look into the weekend.